There was a lot of people in the showing. There was. I, I mean, was very surprised. I don't know, like, why. I wonder why everyone was there. Was it because of, like, a certain actor? Did they know the director? Uh, what was it that drew you and was like, I want to see this movie? I mean, it was free. Hello, everyone. We're the Continuity Crew. I'm Will. I'm, uh, I'm very enthusiastic <laughs> for this movie. <laughs> it's... That's what. And today, we've got a big feature film review for y'all this week. We have got Moonfall. Um, we got to see this movie early. Um, it comes out February 4th, Four. whenever this video ends up coming out. Mm -hmm. But it is starring Halle Berry, Patrick Wilson. Uh, what's the other guy's name? John Bradley. It is directed by R Roland Emmerich. And he did Independence Day and other alien type movies like that godzilla did he like the the old godzilla oh i was about to say um the day after tomorrow so he's he does a lot of disaster 2012 sci-fi disaster def, type thing yeah definitely see the 2012 in this movie move all it follows th I'm, I'm this thing's so long um, but there is some mysterious thing going on with the moon. It's out of orbit. Oh my God. Alexis commercial. Just photo. Yeah. This, this movie oh yeah, was, it was a Lexus commercial sponsored by Lexus. It literally is <laughs> it, it, Lexus to X moonfall by moonfall. Thanks. Um, but the moon is out of orbit and there's an astronaut, Patrick Wilson and Halle He's Berry, and they're going to like either blow up the moon. They're going to go to the moon. They're going to figure out what it is and no spoilers, but like, it's crazy. I mean, honestly, they don't reveal much in the trailer. So that's surprising. Uh, they did a good job with the trailers. I'll say that's like the best thing about this. Movie. <laughs> I think the best, I think the the trailers only show like the good CGI. Yeah. Because the rest of it was like, oh, that's obviously green screen. That was rough. Yeah, a lot of it was rough. Um, before we talk more about what was rough, um, I mean, I guess we, that is what we're going to talk about. More than plot stuff. Yeah. But what do you think about Moonfall? And let's just hop right I think that. we both agree that it was pretty ass. It was so bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good try. It was like it was catering to like TikTok. Yeah, you know, because like I get that a lot. Like on TikTok, I get like a lot of conspiracy theories, like, oh, the moon is hollow or some shit like that, or like it was built by aliens or uh, Earth is flat, that type of stuff. Spend and too much time on TikTok. <laughs> every now and then, it'll get to that. Like I, it'll just start recommending me that kind of thing. But no, this movie was an absolute shitter. It didn't really start until about maybe. Uh, 30 to an hour almost in almost an hour in it's almost an hour yeah. like it's almost two and a half hours i think or it just says two hours i think it's like two and a half two eleven something like that yeah this movie um, could have been easily an hour 30 oh yeah um so this movie like to wrap it up like in like one sentence it is a like the sci-fi channel yeah. yeah but like really high budget movie yeah. that's what this is is this high I, budget I would assume it's high budget. I mean, he's he's a known like disaster director, movie yeah. director. Um, budget one hundred fifty million. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, that's Marvel level. That's, man. Yeah. They spent all of that money on Halle Berry. The yeah, shot. yeah, the actors definitely a big part of that. Oh my god, that CGI like, did not look one hundred and fifty mil. Oh man, neither did the script. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I mean, I think you can go to one of our weeklies just talking about the script. I said, we were looking at this one. I said it was going to come out and I said, oh, it's got three writers. It's going to be bad because I can't remember. There's been a couple instances where there's more than like two writers that yeah. can be pulled off but like three there's just too much going on there man the transformers I mean, movies has like 11 writers i would love like to see someone like i would love to someone to give us an example where there is more than three or more writers and it's a good movie, it's a good movie. <laughs> because <laughs> it's just too many conflicting ideas it's just bad in the end um these are all three like our leads great actors um it's just they've all i i mean they each have had a good movie yeah um but gosh, what are you doing with them? I mean, the the script they spent is, a lot of money on them. Yes, yeah. the script is just laughable at points, and the just the how the, the movie plays out is just incredibly ridiculous. It is. 
Yeah, uh, just the order of the whole thing. It like it, it. So there's like a part of this movie where Patrick Wilson explains what happened, and for some reason they start with a monster, mm-hmm. and like it's they show the monster digging into the moon, which I think that that was like unnecessary in terms of setting up the story because I think it would have been better if it was uh if it was the moon and like something blew up in the moon and they couldn't go back to it or something like something that. Something like that. Kind of like your like Transformers did with yeah. Dark of the Moon. Yeah. I mean, it, they could have kept it hidden. I mean, you kind of saw it even in the trailers, but even still like I still think the trailer did a good job. Even though where we got into this movie wasn't great, <laughs> but it did hide what was actually the conclusion and i'm like all right i mean i guess it was all very predictable though yes very like I, it was almost it was almost written like that for some reason because like i think it would have had a decent twist if that mother didn't fly the big one if it didn't fly with them to be yeah. an astronaut like it would have been if it, it would have been fine but of course, you know, from the beginning of the movie, I remember saying like that guy is probably gonna go to the moon with them or some shit like yeah, that. Yes, or just uh, somebody's gonna die. Uh, yeah. But in I, they also have what's it, Michael Pena and Donald Sutherland. I don't know why he was in this movie like at all. Um, he's like he was in Hunger Games and he's been in other good stuff. He's a great actor, but like he literally shows up and he's like that's bad and goes and kills himself. In yeah. a wheelchair. I'm yeah. Like that's a s- stupid plot point. But oh then- yeah, he was in Hunger Games. Yeah, yeah that guy. Uh, you know, another one, another actor that shouldn't have been in this movie is that Chinese lady, the foreign exchange lady. Oh yeah, that's weird. Yeah. I, it, well, it, you got to give the young kid his love romance or whatever, because you know. But did it need it? Because <laughs> that kid could have not. Like, just he not been, been in it there, at yeah. all. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Absolutely. Because there's a lot of padding in terms of like, oh, can you go get that kid? And we're showing so much of him at this point. It was so annoying when. Uh, I gotta he, get my son out of prison. Yeah, Patrick Wilson was ordering people like, "Can you go fly to the prison and get him out or whatever?" Yeah, and there's like uh, that one soldier, like. I don't know. There's so many side characters they expect us to care about, or and they're just stupid and pointless. Like for example, uh, what's his name? Michael Pena. Yeah. What's his name. He's like the stepdad, yeah. and just like a uh, heat <laughs> spoiler. I think it's supposed to be like the Karate Kid, because he also owns like a uh, oh, yeah. Cobra Kai. He owns a dealership. The car dealership. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He didn't need to be in there. The the parents being divorced would have been fine. It could have worked out. Um, the kid, uh, or the teenager with, I think he's got a problem or something. Yeah. Like, it's never established in the movie. No, it's like, oh yeah, I was in a car chase and I've done other bad stuff. <laughs> I'm in prison. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. It wasn't his drugs. It was, uh, his friends. Disgruntled child plot point is all it is. Yeah. And I don't think that a whole like court Shit, scene was... would have worked. They're stupid. <laughs> it was just Patrick Wilson just yelling shit. It's like, have you never been in a courthouse? He's like, that's my son. <laughs> yeah. uh, I will say I love Patrick Wilson and because he's in a lot of stuff that I really like. But God, this was not it, man. Hey, I mean, you met the guy. I guess the plot, what happens? Spoiler, if you want to know what happens in Moonfall, here you go. Um, they go to space. It's like a mega structure or whatever they called it. And there's something blocking the white dwarf that is in the sun or something. Um, And then there's some alien race that is the humans, but like from millions of years ago, and they had the perfect life. They created these structures, which one of them was our moon. And then uh john bradley sacrifices himself to kill the big nasty thing that's covering the thing and then the thing and then the thingy thing yeah cool concept also there's that swarm thing yeah that looked cool that looked really cool it uh, looked very much like a trans- transformers uh, it did thing, though. it reminds me of something else some other movie but yeah, this movie's just uh, also the science and i i keep <laughs> i'm very nitpicky here uh, the science in this is so inconsistent. It's, stupid, it's almost man. laughable. <laughs> like, uh, I, I just, I don't think that's makes sense. I, I, I don't know. In this movie, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, <man>. you're right. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just like the whole, it's just weird. <laughs> like, it doesn't even make sense why the the moon was like shifting. 
Because, like, if you think about it, it wasn't really explained where there was, like, oh, yeah, they're propelling it to get closer to Earth or anything. Oh, like it was that. in orbit. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why I'm trying to defend it, <laughs> but, like, it was in orbit. And since it was covered, it started going down. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It just doesn't make <laughs> sense. Because, like, the, <laughs> white, <Shut up. laughs> the white dwarf stuff was just like, it was like, oh, yeah, that thing is trying to get into the white. Uh, white dwarf is trying to destroy it or yeah. whatever uh and then um for some reason it starts shifting and then oh this, yeah they got attacked for some reason also uh because it was attracted to electronic uh, organic organic yeah but it, something. Yeah, it was attracted to electronics but also like human beings and they had to be together and so that's why somebody had to stay behind on the ship thanks yeah. that's cool not really <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't know what else to say about this movie. Um, it was ass. Also, I, they were able to launch a a crew to the moon in like ten days. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and they got it ready when everyone had bailed, yeah. and then <laughs> and they're like, "No, nah, we're going!" In like in like five minutes, as a massive tidal wave was coming. Don't you forget? Um, yeah, that tidal wave took a long ass time. It did. Well, it makes sense because it was so big. I mean, this. The science makes a little sense. <laughs> oh, that but, reminds that gets me to that part with the Humvee and that teenage kid. Oh, yeah, they, just, they like the oh, so the rocket ship tidal wave, and the kid's like over there, and the tidal wave's coming, and the rocket's trying to take off, and the kid gets out of the car <laughs> to look at it with like the other kid, the Chinese that, lady, yeah, and the other kid, and they're like, Oh, yeah, look, oh, god, are they gonna make it? Oh, wait, there's a huge <laughs> tidal wave coming. Stupid. Foolish. And of Dumb. course they get a, they get a, what is it called? Uh, when they were trying to get to the bunker, of course they get robbed or whatever. Oh, of course. And their Humvee gets There's taken. a lot of stuff that reminds me of like his other movies, like Day After Tomorrow, like no. the, the thugs and stuff. It's no. just, I mean, he's got a genre, I guess, these disaster type movies. He just wants to destroy Earth, man. I guess. I mean, it, if he's given the money, like, this isn't going to do very well. I mean, it's competition. It's jackass. I mean, come on. Yeah, no. I know. <laughs> but so. um, I just think, what are you doing, man? Um, this, this, The tagline for this movie should be, it's so bad, <laughs> I can't believe it's real. <laughs> That's how I have felt about this movie, like, since we saw it. It's just, it's insane. How it's a $150 million fail. That, that makes it so bad, much worse. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know it was that much. That, for context, I'm pretty sure Iron Man was about, it had, like, a 50 to $80 million budget. Uh, Avengers had a $150 million budget. <laughs> This movie had a $150 million budget. Oh, boy. And they just wasted it down the drain. They had... Uh, I don't know. I just I don't see how you can make this movie good. I think there's too many people like me and probably you, too, that it's like this is too yeah. much outside of the realm of possibility. There's like a, a fine line where you can go absolutely nuts and people are just going to have fun with it. But this didn't get there yet to where it's like this is science-y. This could... This could actually happen or something i don't know but it's like it, it just didn't get past that point so it was just bad in this little like limbo area where it's just this is ridiculous like i i mean i'd just be like the guy donald sutherland in the wheelchair i just go and kill myself <laughs> <laughs> i forgot about that <laughs> yeah. like i and that that was so weird too i thought he wasn't gonna kill himself because they were setting it up and i was like okay yeah. maybe he's gonna help because he's like a big actor but no he just he says I've got to go attend something or whatever he said. I'm like, oh my god, come on. Uh, another context here. This is this is a little bit more, but the budget for Transformers: Dark of the Moon was 195 million. But you take away the CGI robots and just do like somewhat of the uh, ships and stuff like that on the moon. Yeah, that that that, that would yeah. Been the, also, million, just like fine. the space stuff didn't look good. Like no. I don't know. I think we've kind of been spoiled with that stuff. Like I'm like gravity or interstellar at Astra. Like there's Even some star Wars. Yeah. There's some really good space stuff out there. Well, this was just not it. Um, and that's where it like, I'm like, it's like a really high budget, like sci-fi channel movie. And oh, man. I like that. They killed the, uh, their friend mm -hmm. in like, uh, what is it? First five minutes of the movie. And you're oh, just yeah. like, Oh, okay. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. it's like, I don't care. Like, oh, big I'm, swarm. I just got here, man. Yeah. Any final thoughts on the on Moonfall? Uh, because this is coming out. I want to release this just right before this movie comes out. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, just because this is going to come out before the movie, please save your money. Save your money. Absolutely. Yeah. This, wait for streaming. Or yeah. Like, this and, belongs in the streaming. So. Even if you are a huge fan of any of these actors or even this director, like, I just wait. I mean, he's, I'd say two, like 2012 is hated, but it was better than this. Final things for me, this movie, just awful. Um, Save your money, like when said, it was so bad. I can't believe it's real. Say it again. Like, oh my God. <laughs> um, like, I, I thought 355 was bad. No, this is probably worse. This, this was, was worse. 150 mil, and it just went down. That just makes it so much yeah. worse, man. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll say that, like, kind of makes it go down yeah. even more for our ratings, which we will get to it's right like now. It's like a nice Mercedes. Like, you buy some, like, $200,000 Mercedes. Or really and nice then Lexus. Like, or, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, it was a shitty car. So then, like, five years later, it's, like, worth ten grand. But yeah, let's let's get to our ratings. We'll wrap it up. Um, we're gonna do two ratings. We do critical and entertainment. Critical uh, one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best. Mm-hmm. Win. What is your critical? Two. Rating? Two. <laughs> Fair enough. Worst movie already. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a two as well. Um, this was just awful. It's not a one, like like a Space Jam, but it was bad. Um, there was some kind of redeeming stuff there, but. <laughs> nothing i want to mention that like it re- actually matters um an entertainment value it was mad cringe i almost wanted to skip every time they were talking to each other i kind of wanted to leave in this movie <laughs> yeah. yeah like it's one of those moments where like when you're watching a movie like at home and you're watching it on streaming you're just like ah, i just want to skip this part there's so yeah. much padding and like uh there's a lot of exposition so i'm gonna give this one a one for entertainment value that's fair i'm going to give it this is tough. I'm going to give it a five because <laughs> this is the type of movie I would have loved as a child. Like I, I loved Godzilla Independence Day and Day After Tomorrow when I was young. I loved all of I those movies that. he did. But oh my God. Um, this I feel was, like this was made more for like the Asian market. Almost. Absolutely. <laughs> That's well, why it's they got the, Alexis what's there. it? That production company, H Brothers or whatever. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. They, they do. They did like the Meg and stuff yeah. so like this is right up their alley um yeah this is definitely the worst movie of the year so far we'll say it i'll say it come at me i don't it's not know as bad as space i yet. take i take that back though i mean this is the worst movie to be put in theaters but that new ice age movie <laughs> was doo-doo <laughs> duty head but anyways that's our big feature film review for moonfall Thank you all for watching. We've been the Continuity Crew. As always, like if you enjoyed, comment down below, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Yeah. I'm Will. I'm um, Complex. (laughs) That's when. It's Sydney's win. (laughs) Thank y'all for watching. We love movies. We love y'all. And we'll see you on the next one.